first of all, we don't die because energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be trapped or transformed. However, we know what the question is referring to because this physical body, as we, we, we call it, it's bacteria, is from the dust of the ground, not in the sense of uh, um, God took ground and formed man, and we're going to explain that, because everything is a cycle, things recycle, nature rec recycles. So the reason the, the, the dust thing comes in is because when a woman is pregnant, most women that are pregnant, they have problems with their sinus, right? They have sinus problems, and that's because the dust of the ground, they breathe it in. And the being that is within their stomach at that time, as I explained the last time, is that the sperm travels up the, the, um, the spinal column to the cerebellum to get ignited through the pineal gland to receive the energy that becomes what people call the soul. When that soul is being grown in the mother's stomach as the goddess creator, when she's breathing in dust, the dust of the ground actually then becomes congealed and it forms the limbs and all of that with that pure energy or ethereum being that is being grown in her stomach. And then you come out obviously as a baby with, you know, with limbs and so forth as, as a baby. But when you translate the different parts of you, because you're made up of your physical body, you have a spiritual body, you have a plasmatic body, you have a mental body, you have an etheric body. These are all parts of you, but they exist in different vibrations or frequencies known as they have mutation, they all have mutational rates, yeah? So you're connected to all of them at the same time, but they vibrate at different frequencies. And so when you're, you're and the reason you're on this lower plane is to master the lower planes, which is the physical, the spiritual, the mental and the soul or the soul and the mental, and there's others as well, right? So when you pass on, it's like your elements decompose and go back to the, to the vibration where they came from. And the real you, so your soul being, will travel on to the, to the plane of soul. Your mental being is connected to the mental realm. So a simple way of describing this is that you're like a computer connected to a network and you're connected to that network by something called the etheric cord. Just like computers on a network here are connected by the ethernet cord. And once you're connected, you can access the different realms that you have access to. And the more spiritual you are, the higher you vibrate, you can connect to the, to the higher realms. So people who are more spiritual and they visit these abodes, like in your, what people call sleep or dream state, they will travel to these different dimensions and different realms. So it all depends on what you're calling you, because the different parts of you, um, like what well, you call death, but it's not really death, it's just really transmuting or translating. And if you don't make the grade, you can come back. And, and, and keep doing the cycle until you make the grade to not come back. So I hope that's answered the question of, um, of death because we, we don't really die. Right, yeah, like yeah. Got 24 cycles up to 24,000 cycles. Yeah. So this is why we say our ancestors are still alive and we can connect with them and commun you know, speak with them, communicate with them, and they can help you from the other side or, or the different realms. But you're also tapped into them because... Ether is connected to ether, mental is connected to mental, physical is connected to physical, and you're dealing with sound and vibration and frequencies as well. That's why the tones are very important. So our language is very important, the FAC, because the F is the resonant frequency of the planet. The A is the frequency of the body, and the C is the frequency of the cosmos. So you're connected to all of them at the same time. And so death for us, even in ancient times, like the Egyptians used to do something called um, open the mouth ceremony, where they would channel their energy or their soul mm. towards Orion constellation, where they're from, or the Sirius constellation. So it's about understanding energy. The reason we're on this planet is really to master energy and how to manipulate it, how to transform it, 
um, and ultimately you're an energy being. So you can um, go back to being an ethereal or an etheric being, which is a pure energy being. But even in religion, they teach you that there's, a, there's an afterlife, but it's like they don't explain the method of getting there. Mm. The, science, the scientific or the spiritual aspect of it. And they turn into gardens mm. and milk and honey and maidens and virgins yeah, and all that that yeah. you can get right here. Yeah. You don't have to go to heaven <laughs> to get gardens and milk and honey and... Black eyed maidens. Ma yeah, yeah. Ma you can get all that here. So this, this God is... They saying all of that, it's again these physical gods that are talking, walking, and they like, you know, gardens, they like women, they like milk, they, yeah, but a supreme being on that level doesn't have any need for like physical or material things like that, or emotions.